southward toward the rolling red-tinged cotton lands, southward toward those Americans of Negro origin to whom he offered the seed of freedom and who are even now striving to reap the harvest of their heritage. More than half of the nation's Negro population live by the land, men and women, caught in the grim toils of the one crop system. Here in the South, cotton is king, a cruel and imperious monarch who destroys the earth which nourishes him and tyrannizes the people who bring him to life. Yes, there is an air of melancholy hovering about the emancipator as he looks out upon the poverty of those Americans he freed. The land on which they live holds a promise which ever eludes their grasp. For three-fourths of those who till the soil are sharecroppers and day laborers. They must work hard harder, ever harder, and with it grow older, poorer, deeper in debt. Tragic people, the strongest avenue of consolation and hope is religion, and thus Sunday is the gladdest day of the long week, for it means off to church. It means rekindling the ember of hope in weary hearts. It means rediscovering that freedom before God and man which is denied them six days a week in the white man's world. And they enter into their worship with every fiber of their being.